The subject of pointers is confusing to many beginners, and yet it is a critical concept to master. Part of the difficulty with the subject is the difficulty in visualizing pointers in a way that makes them easy to understand. In these lessons, I will be expanding on ways to better visualize pointers and thus to better understand their uses and purpose. This lesson is going to focus on the methods of using an offset with a pointer. Now some of this material has already been covered, so this lesson might feel a bit like a review to some extent. First of all, what is an offset? An offset is a way of identifying a location when given its starting point, nothing more. If I told you, start at your house, then go 100 miles north, then that is an example of an offset. 100 miles is a distance away from your house, and that defines an exact location of something. Remember that your computer's memory is linear, and therefore any offset will be either plus some number or minus some number. With pointers, you use an offset in order to locate an exact thing in memory that you want to see or work with. Now in this example, how can we find the R in Reddit? Well, we don't know the actual memory address of the character R, but we do know the actual memory address of the H, the first character. Therefore, we have all of the information we need in order to find R. If we simply add 6 to the memory address of H, we get the memory address of R. And if we are at R and we want to find H, we subtract 6. Let's take a look at this in action. So first of all, I've converted this into a program. Now let's go ahead and see how using an offset we can find H and R. So we're going to use the printf function to print a single character. Notice that this is a single character, this is a new line, and we'll say what is at the memory address of string, which we know is going to be the H. And you'll see that it printed the H. Likewise, if I want to print the R, I can just add 6. Now, here what I'm saying is I'm saying find the memory address of string, which will effectively give me the letter H, and then I want the memory address that is going to be that memory address plus 6. So the way we read that is this star means what is at, and specifically what is at this, which is going to be the memory address for the H plus 6. And so if I run this program, you'll see that I get the R in Reddit. Now on the other hand, I could create a pointer, assign it to the value of R, and if we run this program, as expected it prints the letter R, and now I can subtract 6 from this pointer and run the program again and you'll see that I get the H from Hello Reddit. So here you can see clearly how I can add and subtract to and from pointers in order to obtain a new memory address and thus look at entirely new data. This is a critical concept to master. Any element of any data structure can be located by knowing the location in memory of any other element of that same data structure, provided that you have a way to determine the distance between the two. This goes for arrays, data structure, anything at all. Now let's go ahead and expand that statement. All elements of any data structure can be located by an offset, plus or minus, from any other element. Let's suppose that I didn't know where H was, but I knew where R was in memory. Then it is possible to find H. If I know where the O is, then I can find every letter from the H of hello to the T of Reddit. So now I have explained how offsets are useful and what they are, but how do you use them? 
you add or subtract some quantity from the memory address of the source element. The source element is the element that you are going to measure the offset from. In other words, it's the element that you know the memory address of. You can think of the source element as being your house in the example I gave earlier. You will either add or subtract some value to that source element, and in so doing you will be able to reach any other element in the data structure. Now, what do you get if you add a number to a memory address? The answer is you get another memory address. The same is true if you subtract a number from a memory address. It's as simple as that. Whether you add to a pointer or subtract from it, you're still going to get a memory address as a result. Now it's important to note that you won't get the same memory address you started with unless you're adding or subtracting zero. You'll get a different memory address and therefore you'll be looking at different data. So if I say memory address plus 100, I'm saying give me the memory address that is 100 bytes forward from where I am. If I say memory address minus 50, then I'm saying give me the memory address 50 bytes backward from where I am. Now that's, assume, that's assuming that we're talking about a care pointer, which is one byte. Uh, otherwise it may not be exactly 50 or 100 bytes, but the concept still applies. Another concept that is important to understand is that you can set bookmarks inside of memory and come back to it later. You might, for example, create a pointer to mark where the string of text hello reddit begins in a complex data structure and then set a different pointer somewhere else, perhaps to mark where the string hello reddit ends. By doing this you can have two or more pointers working on the same data simultaneously by each starting at different locations within the data. There are many reasons you might want to do that not the least of which is sorting algorithms, and that will be the subject of future lessons. So to wrap this brief lesson up, there are the following points you need to remember. First of all, any pointer can be added to or subtracted from. When you do this, when you add to or subtract from a pointer, which is a memory address, the result is always going to be a new memory address the new memory address will be located a set number of bytes away from the original address based on how much you added or subtracted. And lastly, when you add to a memory address you go forward in memory and when you subtract you go backward in memory. Knowing how to use offsets properly is an important skill and you'll find this very useful especially in upcoming lessons. Alright, that concludes this lesson.